know what. Maurice is the artist of this group. His cakes are worthy of the Louvre. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Who won the race today, that cake or me, huh? <laughs> you Americans, English, and French have been defeated by a German today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as long as you guys lose the war. Oh. <laughs> to hell with that. We're not in the war yet. <laughs> <laughs> Attention. Attends, attends. Ah. Ready? I saw that. This is the BBC. Here is the news. Intense activity was reported today between key European chancelleries in an attempt to reduce the possibility of armed conflict following the Polish government's rejection of the German ultimatum. Large contingents of German troops were reported to be massing on the Polish border. Meanwhile, the Polish High Command has ordered immediate mobilization of all land, naval, and air forces, while all British and French Antoine, units have been alerted. Antoine, fermez cette radio. Oh. One of your better sommeliers, mademoiselle. Oh, thank you. Come all on. right, now drink it up. Here's to Jürgen. May be back with us soon. And that he doesn't forget his old friends. Old friends? Is that all, Fabian? Oh, no, come on, Fabian. It's about time you admitted it. Which one of these three guys are you in love with, huh? Maurice? Oh, no. Dick? Uh, oh, la la. Jürgen? Pourquoi pas? And you too. I'm the only one who doesn't know. <laughs> Must I reveal all my secrets? Yes. yes. Think of the consequences. Hey, Lord. Here's to uh, three secret lovers. No. Here's to Fabian. To me. Oh, no, wait a minute. I've got an idea, as we're all going our separate ways. Uh, what's today's date? Uh, oh, uh, the 24th. Right, August 24th. Don't get it. I propose an annual reunion right here at Chez Maurice. Oh, oh yes. yes! What do you say? We meet here what, every year, no matter what happens. Yes. Great! Yes. Okay? Oh. Cheers. <laughs> It'll only be a few minutes. Why don't you come in with me? You'll enjoy meeting her. I'll wait for you here. You know how high society bores me. Nicole Levine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's anything but boring. Good evening, Mr. MacDonald. Bonsoir, Philippe. Comment ça va? The name is Bernard, sir. Ah, Madame Leving is expecting you, sir. Oh, come on, Brett. I guarantee you won't be bored. Quite a layout. Where all the paintings come from? I believe they all came at the chateau when old man Levine bought the place. Right. Life in the 20th century. Money buys anything. But not everything. Nicole! You are, to use a corny expression, a sight for sore eyes. Listen, you. I've heard you're going back to the States to work on your new book. Had you left without saying goodbye, I would have never forgiven you. Just between us, I'd never have forgiven myself either. Now, I want you to meet a very dear friend of mine, Brett Rossum. Mr. Rossum, at last. I've been very curious to meet you. Ray talks endlessly about you. Then I'm at a clear disadvantage, Mrs. Levine. All of Paris talks about you. 
Greenberg plays for I don't care who he plays for. I don't even know. He usually holds his liquor a little better. But he started a little early this morning. Apologies for the inconvenience. What inconvenience? On the contrary. So, I guess I know a little bit about everything. And perhaps something about me? Perhaps. What I'd really like to know is why does a beautiful woman like you live all alone? Your house is exquisite, but... What answer would you prefer? The truth. That's always difficult, isn't it? Difficult things are the most tempting. Always. Then after the divorce, I packed up and came to Europe. Wound up in Spain in the Civil War. The Abraham Lincoln Brigade. An idealist, huh? No, not really. Just someone learned to survive with a gun. I've always admired survivors. And your wife? She's in the States with her son. And that's my story. The American dream gone astray. You Americans are always dreaming. Come on, you're American too. Only half. But the French half of me dreams too. <laughs> Come on, Nicole. It's morning. There's no more time to dream. But I'm still dreaming. And so am I. I don't think our girl is going to make it. You better take off. You're going to miss your train. Neither one of you has got much time. Ray, take it. Get on the wagon, will you? <laughs> don't you worry about me. They say alcohol is a slow poison. Never mind about his drinking. You're going to war. <laughs> Platform 6, all aboard please. Express train for Le Havre, leaving immediately from platform At least you got here in time to say goodbye to Jurgen. <laughs> goodbye. Remember, we'll meet again on August 24th.
better late than never, I guess. No, you never could keep to schedule, could you, starving artist? I should ignore that. a boat and a half tomorrow morning. It's only goodbye for a while, Brett. We'll see each other again, start again. Besides, I have something of yours. You left your cigarette case. Cigarette case? Oh, yes. Well, good luck. <laughs> luck? But I want more than luck. I want to dream, remember? Goodbye, Nicole. Goodbye. We interrupt this program to bring you the latest war bulletin. On the Flanders front, after violent combat, the enemy has broken through Anglo-French defences. German armoured units are pursuing the Allied forces in an attempt to encircle them before they reach Dunkirk, the only channel port as yet unoccupied by the enemy.
Richard Sanders, the 17th Fighter Squadron. I was shot down yesterday at the Belgian border. Report to the RAF Recruitment Center for reassignment, Lieutenant, and be quick about it. New pilots are a precious commodity. All French military personnel, regardless of service or unit, are to report to Pier Number Two. Tous les personnels militaires français. Passe rapport au quai numéro 2, sans tenir compte de son service ou de son unité. The war is not over for us. Do you wish to join General de Gaulle's free French army? Who is General de Gaulle, sir? What do you care? I don't know who he is. At least he's not giving up. Next competitor is Jim Rossum, New York State Collegiate Champion, approaching his final round of jumps. Son. Dad, where did you come from? What do you want? I thought we might talk. Wait a minute, okay? I'll be right back. Now, what do you want to talk about? I really don't have much time. Well, I'm... I'm going to be in New York for a while, and I thought we might spend some time together. Isn't it a little late for that? You were never around when you should have been before, so why bother now? Jim, there are a lot of things you don't know. You can't excuse the past. You've always done what you damn well pleased. Jimmy, hurry up. They're presenting the awards. I'm coming. Jim. What? Good. And don't bother coming around anymore, okay? I don't like being embarrassed in front of my friends. Let's go.
Excuse me, madame. Do you know what time Mademoiselle Baudouin usually comes home? No. She's gone away. I see. Um, when did she leave? Let me see. Today is the 23rd. No, it's the 24th. It must be a month now. Nothing to be afraid of. All you have to do is watch the exits and signal us if we have any visitors. We'll take care of the rest. And remember, you didn't see anything. You know what to do when it's over. After today, there'll be no going back. You're one of us. room here. We confirm information. Two formations of Heinkel 111 bombers with M109 fighter escort approaching the south coast in the vicinity of Brighton. Repeat, two formations Heinkel 111 bombers with M109 fighter escort approaching south coast. Request immediate fighter squadron interception. <laughs> Now scrambling, Group 11 fighter squadron from Price Norton Station for interception. Thank <laughs> you. 
letters from your American admirer, Frau Levine. He seems to be quite the romantic, wouldn't you say? Never mind, that's not what interests us. Rather, certain ideas he expresses. I can well understand what's troubling you, Major. Fortunately, ideas can't be arrested. Frau Levine, may I remind you of your status? You are of foreign extraction. You claim a dual nationality. Your late husband was a well-known Zionist banker and going by what Mr. Rossen writes, you intend to join him in America. That, I'm afraid, won't be possible. Am I to be given a reason why not? With pleasure. As of today, December the 8th, Germany is at war with the United States. Hadn't you heard? I just did. Shall I consider myself a prisoner? Why, madam, the thought hadn't entered my mind. No. You're free to remain on your estate. As long as you behave. Stars and Stripes Editorial Office. Yes, madame, I would like to speak to Mr. McDonald. No, no, Mr. Ray McDonald. He's a London correspondent. He's not there. W well, can you tell me where he is? The Golden Lion. That is a, a pub, madame, uh, not a zoo. Yes, madame, I'm just making a little joke. There's a war going on that we can laugh, no? Au revoir, merci. Incroyable. I think I fought my way through half of Europe to bring you this. A good friend, no? <laughs> it seems like some kind of beautiful dream. Oh, it's hard to believe that that kind of happiness ever existed. Where is everybody now, I wonder? Have you heard anything? Not from anybody? Hello, Mr. War Correspondent. They told me I'd find you here. Hi, honey. Maurice, I'd like you to meet Lieutenant Mary Jennings. Enchanté. A real winner, huh? <laughs> Waiter, what are you drinking, honey? I'd better not have anything. Nor you either, for that matter. General Dowding's waiting. The interview, remember? Look, let him wait for five minutes. Now, come on, sit down. Sorry, Maurice, but duty calls. C'est la guerre. <laughs> Promise me that you're not going to give me a lecture when we get home. I'm not making any promises if you're not keeping yours. You two sound like an old married couple. Hardly that. <laughs> oh, look, Mary, this is my old Paris gang I've been telling you about. That's me, the best-looking one, of course. And uh, that's Maurice, uh, the guy with the French accent. What's such a pretty girl doing in that suspicious-looking bunch? Ah, oh, Fabienne, Fabienne. I wonder where she is now. Pardon me. Could you show me where Montmartre is, please? Yes, certainly. There. Oh, uh, where? Right there. The Gestapo arrested my father at his shop this morning. I knew he was to meet you here. I brought the leaflets. They must not be found at home. Trouble! have been followed. My God, you condemned us. Move away from us and get on the elevator. Take care. Now it's your turn to be a man. I want you to stand here for France.
I need to see your identification and your purse. Now. Fabienne. How can you make me wait like this? We'll be late for the concert, Sherry. Oh, yes. Any problems, Inspector? Just an identification control, Captain. There are resistance members in the area. Do you know this woman? <laughs> Can't you tell? And you know better than to be afraid of German friends of France, don't you? Inspector. Thank you, Captain. You may go. Thank you. bring it back. Who we were, what we did, doesn't count anymore. Fabienne. Did... Did you make love to me? Because I... I helped you today? Try to understand, Joachim. Today I forgot that we were enemies. But I might not be able to forget it, always. Ah. Come on, Fabienne. Let's not spoil the few hours we've left. Huh? Know something? No. I was here two years ago on August 24th. See? So let's pretend today is August 24th. At least that's one way to stop time. Uh, to hell with everything and everybody. This is our day for... Fabienne. will be, sir. 
No, it hasn't come down the pipeline yet. Normally, they let you know after you get there. Well, I'm sure you'll like it there. It's on the coast in Sussex. Oh. There appears to be a visitor for you, sir. An American soldier. He says he's your son. Sir, Corporal Rawson requesting to speak to the captain. Well, Jim, I thought you were in the States. Um, Collins, uh, take care of my... The transport, sir. Right away. Right. Why didn't you let me know they were going to ship you over? I'm sorry I didn't answer your letters, sir, but they've been keeping me busy. I'm in transit to Scotland, Ochnacarry. Ochnacarry? That's the Commando Assault Training Center, isn't it? That's right, sir. That's why I've come to see you. They've got me slated for instructor duty, but I was hoping you might know someone there who could get my status changed. I want to fight. Oh, I don't know. What's wrong with being an instructor? You'd be in rough company if you're an Ochnacarry. You better get your feet in the ground before you jump into anything. You're OSS. What are you jumping into? I can't talk about it. The point is... The point is, I want to fight too, Captain. If you don't want to help me, I'll find some other way. Jim, it's your father you're talking to. Corporal Rawson, sir. I made the rank. The last name wasn't my choice. Watch your mouth, Corporal. You get military with me, and I'll see to it you're busted back to a private. Do you understand me? I understand you, sir. But given the choice, I'd rather fight the Germans. No. You're as stubborn as I am. I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks, Dad. Do not wake the Bosch. They are sleeping. Birke 5, 4, Birke 1, come in. Birke 5, 4, Birke 1, come in. killed a man? Don't think about it. You'll get used to it. 
Move out. We still have to reach the bridge. The main assault begins at uh, 0700. We blow the bridge now. It takes the Germans two hours to reach the coast at San Nazaire. With the bridge gone, they'll be bottled up. What do you call it, American? My name's Jim Ross. Maurice Bernard. Nice being aboard with pros like you Pathfinders, Maurice. It's my first mission. Et voilà. Et voilà, Thierry. Time to join the party, mes amis. Au survey. Rawson. You know, I used to have a friend in Paris by the name of Rawson, Brett Rawson. He was a hell of a man. He's my father. C'est formidable! Depends on how you look at it. This is the BBC. Here is the news. At dawn today, an Allied assault force, together with three French units, carried out a raid on the French coast at Saint-Nazaire. Enemy reaction was fierce, and the commando escape route was cut off, making retreat impossible. Details will be supplied as further news comes in. In North Africa, now, the army is advancing rapidly. My friend and I, we have to get back so we can fight. Maybe you can help us. There is a way. By I see it is impossible. You'll have to travel overland to Switzerland. It's a long walk, huh? We can make it. 200 enemy bombers approaching London from the southeast. Alert all anti-aircraft batteries.
Leute nicht laufen. Es geht los. Wir werden es Ihnen zeigen. the piano. What does it look like, love? No, 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 I'm just finishing this piece. No, you're not. You're coming down to the shelter with me right now. Oh, wrong, love. Right now, you're going down to the shelter. Oh, please, Daddy. Let's get out of here. You know, that's the first time you've ever called me that. Absolutely incredible. You're the perfect image of your mother. Those same blue eyes and that smile. I had no idea you even existed until I came back to London six months ago. Oh. You're exactly she described you. Impossible. <laughs> and very precious. A little older, perhaps. Yeah, a little older, a little wiser. And he drinks a little more. That's not bad. I think I'll copyright that and use it for my epitaph. You can't imagine the problems I had getting myself assigned to the press corps. Just so I could be near you, Daddy. <laughs> I still can't believe it. <laughs> it's all right, folks. We're just having a family reunion. <laughs> oh, there's the all clear. Come on. By 0500 plus four, your group should be here at the pumping station. Proceed directly to the power plant. Now you only got three minutes to get in, lay the charges, and get out. Can your people handle it? Avec plaisir, mon capitaine. We waited a long time for an opportunity like this. Now we can pay the German back in kind. Well, it's going to be a lot easier here than it will be there. Mad Lad One, this is London Zebra Two Zero. You are cleared for emergency landing. Do you read? Over. Mad Lad One, affirmative. Out. Alert, runway three. You have a Spitfire coming in now. Here's an aerial of the entire complex. Good. Not bad, huh? And a blow up the power station. That's great. Starving artists allowed. Fred, I don't believe this. Well, it's nice of you to drop by, uh, group leader, eh? Not bad. Come on, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. You sure no rank at all? What's going on around here? What are you up to? Secrets? <laughs> secrets? What secrets? All right. If you don't want to talk about yourself, tell me about your son. Is he in the service? Yes. How's the boy doing? Not good, Dick. He's missing in action. Halt! Ausweis, bitte! In the Kirche! Schnell! German roadblock. Get out!
May I be of assistance? Did anyone come in here just now? No. I'm sorry to say. It seems as though everyone has forgotten how to pray these difficult days. No one comes to church anymore. That's because no one is a fool anymore. Priest. Oh, Father, my sin Teresa help us all. Don't shout, Denis. We have two weary guests that need to be taken, you know where. What? Look inside the confessional and don't ask questions. Forgive me. But what's a little white lie in days like these? My friend MacDonald, he's lied to me. He said you were merely beautiful, madame. Such discourtesy. You are uh, ravishing. <laughs> and of course, Ray told me all about you, Maurice, the famous French legionnaire. But by the looks of you, perhaps I should lock up the silver. <laughs> Such luxury, I feel like I've died and I've gone to heaven, huh? These are earthly comforts. Now, as soon as it can be arranged, a friend will take you to Besançon. From there, with luck, you'll cross into Switzerland. Yes, ma'am. Why the hell did you have to tell that woman who I was? I don't want to get mixed up in whatever she has going with my father. I just want to... Hey, écoute-moi bien. That woman, as you call her, is a lady. A very exceptional lady, who happens to be saving your ass as well as mine. Behave yourself. Show some respect. Mm. You mustn't go by appearances. Can you understand that, Jim? Look, Madame Levine, you don't have to explain anything to me because I'm not interested. The fact is, I hardly know my father. How sad. It's your loss. Your father's an exceptionally loving and sensitive man. Perhaps one day you'll realize that it's much more difficult to love than to hate. And if you're lucky, you learn how to love without being ashamed to admit it. This is the second request we've had this week for armored car units in New Year. What are they doing with them, sir? Don't ask me. The Gestapo does what it wants. Colonel Dietrich here. Who? Yes, put her through. Fabienne? Please, don't ask any questions. Just listen. I must see you immediately. I'm in the bistro across the street. It's a question of life or death. I'll be right there. Strauss? Yes, sir. I'm going out. Please get that first request from the files. I want to double check before I sign this one. Looking for somebody, Colonel? Yes. Where is the girl who was just in here? Answer me. Where is... Yeah. 
Monsieur, the Germans are coming. SS. Quickly. There's not a minute to lose. I must thank you for everything, madame. Take care of yourself. Hurry up, please. Jim, take this and tell your father I'm just as sentimental as ever. I wouldn't dream of it. It belongs to you. God keep you. Good luck. As a French woman, I hate you. And as an American, I despise you. Do you know what I mean? Be very careful of your choice of words. Because it's up to me to decide whether you live or die, Frau Levine. Don't delude yourself. My life has always been up to me. And believe me, my life has been too wonderful to batter for with some petty, self-important functionary like you. Does the Major understand? I'm beyond all of your kind. Joyce! Now, put the cow in the truck.
I know this may sound a little strange at this late date, Dad, but in order for me to find out what was missing between you and me, I had to go all the way to a castle on the outskirts of Paris. I'm really not too good with words, but I just want to say that if an incredible woman like Nicole could care so much for you, then I guess it shouldn't be too hard for me to do the same. So when we're done winning this war, I look forward to spending a lot of time with you, okay? Take care of yourself. Love, Jim. Major Rossum, I've just been on the line to London. Spiops has been put forward to 1340. I think we'd best be leaving now, sir. Did the recon plane get up on time? Yes, sir. Early first light this morning from Marshalsham. Should be on station now. Let's go. Deepest right by those trees. That's your best chance. Their command center is on the top floor, Captain. The building has maximum security. There's no need to go into the German B 2 capability at length. We're into D Day, minus 14. As you know, this weapon poses a critical threat to our invasion. That's the subject of this briefing. Major Rossen of the OSS has a presentation for you. Well, gentlemen, what intelligence is uncovered here by this main canal is a fuel manufacturing installation maintained by the 15th German Army Corps. The whole villa complex is an elaborate camouflage for the production center that makes liquid oxygen and hydrazine propellants for their V2. The actual work is being done in a heavily guarded underground bomb-proof facility here by this secondary canal. As you know, we intend to pay them a visit. How do you rate your chances of success, Major? Well, sir, about two to one getting in and getting it done, and about three to one getting out alive. How good is our local asset? The best. Captain Van de Croy of the Free Dutch Army. You boys better be on time. Bomb bay's open at 0725 and they close at 0735. If you don't keep them busy, they'll blow our asses off. <laughs> don't worry. Thanks a lot. 30 seconds to drop zone. Get to open your parachute. Good luck, Major. Well, good luck. First thing I packed.
I guess you can't expect to work in peace when there's a war going on. in the
Relax, Major. They are my men. They'll take you out as a prisoner. Good cover. Take care of yourself. You too. Goodbye. What do you want? You know contact is dangerous now. You must help me. I'm known. The Gestapo took the house this morning and have removed. They're hunting me. I need a new identity. Careful. And a company. Buy a ticket and board a train. If you get out tonight at 10 at the cross, God keep you. One ticket. Thank you. One ticket to hell, Mademoiselle Baudin. Baudin, alias Edith, alias Dominic, alias Resistance, bitch! What might this be for, my little slut? For pigs like you. And the likes of you are finished, my dear. After the entertainment tonight, we'll be serving breakfast in the morning. And I trust your digestion is good, because you'll be eating bullets. And on the Normandy front, Allied forces continue their advance towards Paris. Reports are coming in of a German counteroffensive being prepared in the St. Lo area, where General von Klug, with heavy armored support, is massing his available men in an attempt to slow down the Allied spearhead. The Allies are expected to encounter stiff resistance. The next news broadcast. Hi, sweetheart. Come to Daddy. I was afraid I was going to miss you. Well, what did the doctors say? Oh, what they always say eat the goddamn calories, don't drink them. Daddy. Well, they say that I can't go to the continent. They're insisting I stay in London for further tests and some kind of chemical treatment for my gut. You realize that means I'm going to miss the best story of this whole stinky war? What's that? Just the liberation of Paris, that's all. I'm going to miss all the fun. Till first fun later. Yeah. Listen, sweetheart, I I'd like you to do me a favor. If Paris does get liberated by August 24th, and it damn well better be, I, uh, I want you to find out about my friends, huh? I want you to find out if any of them made it to our reunion. And if they did, I'd... I'd like you to tell them for me. I sure as hell would like to have been there, too. Promise me you'll do it, honey, huh? I'll do anything you ask me, Daddy. Just promise you'll start taking care of yourself. Greatest war correspondent. And he's dying of cancer. We can hold them up, but we can't stop them if they break in force. They've got a lot of armor in the air. We're mining the road to St. Lowe and Frey. Sir. 
you get a count? Company string. There. situation. Colonel, advance units of Panzer Group 4 have been delayed by an English emplacement. Here, at kilometer 30. We'll pass further north. I'll hit this American battalion first. They're vulnerable. We roll them up, and we have a clear road all the way to camp. Sir, there are commando teams in there, and they're vicious. So am I, Captain. So am I. <laughs> No problem. But if they hit us with tanks, we'll be up and free. We're not getting any armor. We're all committed to the gap at St. Lowe. Ma'am, what do they send us? Best wishes? Bon chance? Quelle vacances, huh? An airborne battalion, pal. An OSS tactical team working our area right now, trying to set up the drop zone. Well, wish him luck. Firefly. This is Eyeball. Do you read? Coordinates two, three, five, six, niner. Roger, November Echo of Green Line. Eyeball out. Kansas. Thank 
the armor contact. Request A go drop soonest. the leader. Oh, my God. 
Once we got here on time. Hey, killer, why the rush? Take five and join the party. Jesus. Maurice. On you. Why haven't they come for us? Maybe they are running out of bullets. <laughs> Maybe they are running into bullets. <laughs> Maybe they are just hunting. <laughs> News has it that the Americans are getting close. Smoke, it will help. It's bad for my health. Saved. The Americans are almost here, and the Germans are leaving. Paris is falling. No, no, no. Paris is rising. <laughs> Today, Paris lives. Yes, I'm alive too. <laughs> Today. What day is it? What day is it? August 24th, the day of liberation. August 24th. Well, here's the 24th of August. I'll drink to that. Look at this mess. 
man goes away for a few days on vacation. So what does he come back to, huh? Mel. <laughs> Easy, buddy. There's a reunion going on, remember? A reunion? Care reunion. I don't see any reunion. Give me a hand. There's you. There's me. And... It's the 24th of August. Who knows? All right. Let's start the party. Proprietor. To get another bottle of wine. Come here, sir. Bordeaux. Chateau de la Guerre. 44. Capitone. Let's get drunk. My sentiments, exactly. To Dick. Right guy, wrong side. To Pavien. I hope she made it. To Pavien. Brett and to Maurice. Are you all right? Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 